everyone, it is Eric with Rock and H TV session 127. This is lesson two of our Neville built or Roadrunner, not Neville, Roadrunner trailer. I even put it in the title wrong. A Roadrunner trailer build along. Last week I went through basic tools that you might need. Uh, we covered a little bit of ground there, and then we also made one of our squares, rectangles actually. We made this rectangle right here. So uh, this will be this is the first part that we made, and tonight we're going to move right along building this thing. While you weren't looking, when you weren't watching, I built this particular square to or this rectangle right here. So this one and this one are now done. They're the same size, guys. So if you're building along, you need two rectangles the same size, and do go to that last uh, video where I explained what measurements you need and all that. So what will we do tonight? Glad you ask. What we'll do tonight then is this part right here, this first step, we're going to assemble that and then we're going to attach it to this part of the uh, trailer. And then, and then I think we're going to be ready to begin working on our main frame. So we're gonna give that a go. Ready? If you can find, I like a piece of metal. Now some guys say, Eric, the metal's gonna take away your heat and uh, your solder isn't gonna solder very well. And you know, that's true. That is absolutely true. If you wanna solder on a piece of wood, go ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. I like to use a piece of metal rather than a piece of wood for this reason. Now watch. Magnets, man. I tell you, you can put a magnet on here and it just holds everything in place. You can keep it square. Yes, it's not ideal, but it works for me. So this is why I'm doing it. And guess what? I don't have any of the piece of metal flat in my shop, but I do have my drill press workspace. So guess what I'm doing? I'm using my drill press. I mean, it's, it's not ideal, but hey, not everything's ideal. I mean, if you want to build one of these and you have what I'm looking at here, well then, then that's what you're going to use. I mean, just use it if you have it. You don't have to go out and buy expensive things to make your models. Um, if you've followed me very long, I don't want you making excuses because you don't have ideal, an ideal environment to make your models in. We have one, two pieces of rectangular tubing right here. One and two. And then our rectangle that take, houses our tank goes on top of these two rectangles. I came up with that by happenstance. I experimented several different ways to get all of this to fit on a DCP truck level and this is what I came up with. This is why it, this, is, this worked for me. If you find a better way, I would love it if you'd share me the better way. Share with us the better way. going to solder our rectangles, our rectangular tubing to our brass. No real magic way to do this aside from get it done. That's the first part. Now, one other thing that I have not done that we need to do, I failed to uh, cut a piece down for our kingpin. Okay, so this is where our kingpin is gonna go, right here in the top one. I'm just using a piece of rectangular brass uh, scrap.
think we are ready to put together the mainframe. Wow, look at that, it's awesome. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some spacers in here. If you followed me last week, if you were here, you'll know that I'm a big fan of using simple household things to use as spacers. Well, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna use these pieces. Ah, here's one, that's the one I want. Right there. Oh, and that one's, okay, good. Back in the good old days when I was making tons of combine trailers, I actually welded, a, or welded, I soldered a couple nuts together, so I had some consistency, and that's what I've done here. These are going to be the inside pieces of the outriggers. So this is going to be our outside frame. It's actually going to go all over here, okay? Uh, actually, it'll be, you know, tucked up against... Uh, these pieces here because I want to keep all of this nice and as square as I can so that's why I've kind of gone through this trouble of Thank you for watching. If you have more questions, oh, um, Brass. Um, Hobby Link is a great place. You can buy it on Amazon, all that stuff. 332 square, 332 by 316 rectangle tube. I had um, the solder that I was using at the beginning of this video if you came in late. Um, I buy the solder from the electronics store, uh, what used to be known as Radio Shack. That's where I bought this solder. And I like the tiny sizes because they just melt fast and kind of, it's just, for me, easier to work with. I recommend it. Um, soldering iron is just a cheap welder, 40, 40 watt soldering iron. Just handheld number, nothing big. Uh, that's actually my second one. And uh, it works great. It's about 14 bucks at my hardware store, probably the same online, about anywhere. I'm sure they're, they're not that much different in price. And... Um, I think that's that, guys. What do you think? All right. Thanks for watching. See you next week.